right, so for today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different. I decided to do this fruit and vegetables test. So I went out and bought a ton of different fruits and vegetables, cucumbers, apples, oranges, pears, raspberries, ever, anything you can think of. And I'm gonna do it one by one and see which fruits and vegetables Quincy eats and which ones he just ignores and doesn't eat. I'm assuming most of the things here he's not gonna eat, but maybe we find something that uh, Quincy likes. Now all the vegetables and fruits I have here are safe for dogs to eat. I'm not gonna give him a lot of each one. I'm just gonna give him like a little bite and he's not gonna eat most of them anyway. And then at the end of the video, I'll go over some fruits and vegetables that dogs should not eat and it's actually bad for them. But first we'll see what uh, fruits and vegetables Quincy does eat. Sit up. All right, here we go. Is this something you'll eat? No, <laughs> no. All right, well there's one. We'll set this off to the side. Let's try a cucumber. Want to try a cucumber? <laughs> nope. All right, let's try an apple. Want to try this? It's a honey crisp. Look, just try it. Good for you. You won't have to go to the vet if you eat fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's like a human. He's just like, get that away from me. We're gonna find something that you like here. All right, what about blueberry? Come on, blueberry? Yeah, oh, you're sniffing it? Here. <laughs> Try it. Ah, Quincy, come on. You gotta be a healthy eater. Okay, what about strawberry? <laughs> <laughs> come on, buddy. There's gotta be something here. Strawberry. Nope. All right, raspberry. Do you know how I'm gonna get him to eat one of these? I'm gonna wrap some meat around it, and then he'll eat it, watch. Look, it's meat. There's a raspberry inside of this. Let's see if he eats it. Look, it's meat, buddy. Have some meat. Good boy. He ate it, woo! Good job, it tastes good, huh? Which I'm gonna have to feed you like a baby. Maybe that'll work. We'll try the pineapple. All right, try the pineapple. It's good, I promise, it's good. Just eat it. The viewers want to see something. They don't want to see you just not eat everything. <laughs> Come on. Uh, let's try some honeydew. Come on. Do the good one. Just try it, please. For me. Oh, he, did you try it? All right, watermelon. You gotta like, who doesn't like watermelon, buddy? Come on, try this. It's like water, come on, but better. Come on. Just try it. Please. There it is, there it is. Okay, all right. What else? All right, we'll try a banana. Let's try it. Let's try a banana. Oh, he was thinking about it. He ate it. No, he ate it. At least we're making progress. All right, let's go over to the vegetables for a second. It's a little un unorthodox way to cut into celery, but whatever. This is a vegetable now. This is celery. Try that. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Look how he does it, he just always... Or no, I'm gonna put the celery on top of the piece of meat. So he has to eat the celery to get to the meat. There you go. He ate it! Yes! All right, no, no, no. Now I'm gonna put the strawberry on top of the meat. Are you gonna eat it? Oh, where, how, where did the celery just come from? He like threw the celery back up after he ate the meat, Quincy. You a magician? I saw him eat the meat and swallow it with the celery and then the whole celery piece came back out whole. <laughs> Quincy. All right, broccoli. Man, there's no hope if we're to broccoli now. No one likes broccoli. He's like, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, maybe a carrot. I know there's some dogs that like carrots. Quincy, go. please, please. One, one thing, one thing. No. Why? There's the meat. 
There's a mango. Quincy, right there, meat. See the meat, right there. Now you gotta eat the mango to get to the meat, right? He ate the mango. Did you eat the mango? He ate it. Woo! Well, Quincy, that was a, an epic fail. All right, so now I'm gonna let you know some of the fruits and vegetables that dogs cannot eat, and it's actually bad for them. It can make them sick, and some even die. So do not give your dog these fruits and vegetables. Number one, asparagus. Do not give your dog avocados. Do not give your dog cherries. Uh, don't give your dog grapes. And with that, raisins. Grapes, raisins are just dried grapes. Uh, those are really bad for them, so do not give your dog grapes or raisins. Don't give your dog mushrooms or onions. Uh, and all of these, I don't know the reasons why, really, but it just, it's, there's a toxin in them that can be very poisonous to dogs, make them very sick, and like I said, lead to death. So just do not give your dogs everything I've listed. And one more thing, don't give your dog tomatoes. That was the one thing I forgot, but yeah, no tomatoes either. <laughs> but luckily for Quincy, I don't even think uh, if those were on the floor, Quincy would eat any of the things because like you saw, he didn't eat a single fruit or vegetable I presented to him. I'm not really worried about uh, Quincy eating any fruits and vegetables that he shouldn't because even with me shove, like putting them right in his face, he was not having it. <laughs> Isn't that right, buddy? You picky little dog. It's because he's had too much human food and he's spoiled. I know today's video was a little bit different than normal, but you know, I thought I'd mix it up, uh, do something different than a normal vlog. I kind of want to start testing out different types of videos on my channel, whether it's reaction videos with Thomas or just, you know, food challenges like this with Quincy. I just kind of want to mix it up. Uh, in addition to the vlogs that I do. As always, I'd like to give a shout out to Nick on. Thank you for staying active on my Twitter. I do appreciate that. Remember to like, subscribe, hit that post notifications button. Again, I just wanted to thank you for watching this video and just supporting me throughout every vlog I post. It really means a lot. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and we'll see you guys on Friday. Say goodbye, buddy.